Hey, how you doing? I'm Jay, and man, do I got a list for you. I'm going to show you some of the best new pocket knife deals I recently found on Amazon. This is going to be good. And as usual, like all the links to buy, the prices, and even coupon codes will all be listed for you down in the description. All right, let's get started with number 10. I got a Sativian. This is the ST136. Now, for about $30, this is also going to be available in a, a, a natural or I know some of you will call it like a Jade G10, which honestly is, is probably my favorite version because I just think, man, it just looks awesome with that black blade. And speaking of that D2 blade, man, this really does have like an interesting shape that it almost kind of uh, resembles. Do you remember the Kershaw Thermite? Yeah, it, it kind of looks like that to me. And I can't believe that like I'm about to say this, but the action... The action is like almost like too good because it drops shut <laughs> like crazy fast. Did you see that? I gotta do that one more time. Like nudge, little nudge. Boop. Next up at number nine, this one is gonna be from Sencut. It's the San Angelo. This kind of reminds me of that, you know that uh, that that Sinkovich uh, designed Kershaw tumbler. So, you know, if you like, if you like that knife from Kershaw, then, you know, I think that there's a good chance you're going to like this one too. And they both really do feel like very similar in hand, you know, like with that, it's got like that, that, that pistol grip and a canted forward blade that is just great when you're cutting on a flat surface. At $45, now the San Angelo is going to be a liner lock with a 3.48 inch 9CR18 MOV blade. And you get the green micarta scales. But you know what? It's also available in G10, you know, if that's maybe more your thing. And, you know, since it's a, a Sen Cut that is a budget brand of Civivi, you know, oh, yeah, that action's going to be friggin' great. Number eight. Now, this is one of those knives, you know, where like the name of the knife and the brand are one in the same. And I think I'm pronouncing it right. It's called Wally Fun. All right. So even though, you know, I don't I don't love the name. I mean, the knife itself is actually pretty good. Now, this is also going to be a, a liner lock with you get the, the two opening options. You can either use that. You can see it's got a, the flipper. Or also the uh, thumb studs here. Oof. And the action is is great. Which to me just kind of says that that detent, that detent just must be dialed in like just right. And I absolutely just, I love the shape of this D2 blade. I kind of think that it's, you know, looks more like a modified sheep's foot than anything else. But, you know, for around... $30, you know, the build quality, man, it is, it's right up there with like Sativian, Ganzo Firebird, even Sencut. Number seven, I've got from TG, this is the Draco. Yeah, as in Malfoy. The TG actually stands for Tactical Gears with a Z. And it has, it has a few features that really surprised me because I, I just did not expect to see them here. I mean, the first one being the action I mean, on this $38 liner lock, which is excellent. Let me show you. I mean, it is so difficult for me to fail the deployment. And I, I've been trying and I just, I can't get it to fail. So that's a really good detent and the drop shuttiness. Oh, it's just incredible. They not only gave this a, a two position, yep, lefty love, a two position deep carry clip, but it's also like recessed into the G10 scales. Now, even though we do lose, we lose some of that, uh, like that usable sharpened edge, but I do love, I love this like giant forward finger choil that is definitely going to be like large enough, you know, regardless of whatever your hand size is. I mean, look at that. Even like them big sausage fingers are going to fit right in there. I love it. Number six is going to be another Sativian. This is a new version of the ST102. The model itself, 
you know, is not is not a new one. It's been around for a while, but this specific version actually is. And it was one of the very first like Sativian knives that I ever reviewed. I think this yeah, it was the first one that I found. And you know what? To this day, it's still my favorite. So I can't tell you, I was just so excited to see that now it comes with these really nice brown micarta scales. So for about $30, it still has, you know, D2, nice looking drop point D2 blade. But instead, you can see of a uh, satin finish, it's now black washed and with some black hardware and even even the liners, which I just think look amazing. And you know that action. I don't even need to show this because you know it's going to be good. Oh, and it is number five. This one's going to be from Real Steel, and it's the Huggin. According to, uh, well, Wikipedia. Now, this in old, like, Norse mythology, the um, Huggin is one of a, a pair of, of ravens that actually like flies throughout the world, you know, and reports any unusual events to Odin, essentially like Odin's messengers. Now, out of all of like the Benchmade bug out alternatives out there, this is like the very first one that I've seen that happens to be kind of on the larger side. Now, for around $95, we get a VG-10 steel blade that comes in at 3.75 inches long, and a it's a 4.6-inch G-10 handle. So, oh yeah, you've got plenty of length here, and you can see with my medium-sized hand, still even got a little bit left over there. Now, this has three, yes, three different uh, opening options. So, you can go ahead and use either the lock, the thumb studs, or that fuller which you can see absolutely will uh, go ahead and spidey flick open real steel did a great job on their version of the the crossbar lock and the action action is just man it is look at that it's excellent and i can tell you there is absolutely yep there is absolutely zero blade play and that super deep carry clip that they went ahead and slapped on there yeah that can totally be turned around to the other side for us lefties number four i got another send cut this is the sakshi this is the very first send cut knife to feature a, a button lock and man Man, did they do a, they did a great job on it. I mean, we get, uh, you get the three different opening options. You can see either the, the flipper, the, the button lock itself, or of course the thumb studs. And I got to tell you, all three of them just work absolutely flawlessly. As usual, that blade is going to be a 9CR18 MOV steel and the handle scales are micarta here so if something like this civivi conspirator is a little bit outside of your budget man i gotta tell you this is just a it's a fantastic lower cost op option at 46 dollars number three how about a kubi this is the hide ku 2104 technically now this is really you know i consider this more of like a like a top flipper, which is great because, you know, there are so much easier for me to open consistently, you know, over the standard like front flippers where it's more that tab is a little more forward on the knife. But usually you're going to find these selling for right around seventy dollars. But I was actually able to find this version, you know, with the the black blade and the OD green G10 scales on sale on Amazon. 56 bucks. I don't know if it's still there, but at least it was at the time of my purchase. Now, the the 14C 28N Sambic steel blade measures just under 3 inches at about 2.95. So, you know, this should be nice and legal if you live somewhere with restrictions. Number 2, it's going to be a Kaiser. It's the Drop Bear. 
Now, this knife is, is actually pretty special because it, it features what Kaiser is calling the uh, clutch lock, which is just basically their version of a crossbar lock. It has a three inch drop point blade in 154 cm steel and a, a surprisingly uh, roomy 4.2 inch uh, handle with aluminum scales for $119 over at Mojave Outdoor or Amazon. Now, if you're not really feeling like the, uh, the, like the black blade finish, hey, it's okay because they do have, they have another version with a satin blade and gray aluminum scales. Now, they really, they nailed, I mean, they nailed the action here. It is just, it's incredible. And again, because you know, sometimes with axis locks or crossbar locks, or sometimes there's a little bit of play and it's tough to like get, you know, to tighten the pivot where the action is good and there's no wobble in the blade. But um, I'm happy to say there is no play in like any direction. And on top of all that, they even, they even gave it a two position deep carry clip, which yes, makes this knife completely ambidextrous. Go Kaiser. All right, you ready to see it? My new number one Amazon find. It's gonna be a Civivi. This is the Voltaic. I have not been able to put this thing down since I got it. I mean, it, it is a, it's a stainless steel frame lock with, now my version has the, it's like a Gaborsha wood inlays and just a, a beautiful 3.48 inch 14 C 28 N Sandvik steel drop point blade. $76. Yep. It is. I mean, this thing is, it's a ton of fun to fidget because of, well, the great action and you get like two, the two different opening options. So you can either go ahead and use, of course, the, uh, the flipper tab, which works great, but it also has, yeah, it also has that fuller that they're starting to use quite a bit on all their knives. And you can open it like that. Right now, there's going to be a video up on the screen that I personally picked out for you to go ahead and watch next. And hey, if you haven't already, consider subscribing if you're looking for knife reviews that get right to the point. Thanks so much for watching. I love you guys, and I'll see you at the next video. Take care.